Yo, it's your boy, Oggy or Oggy Rino, and in this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how you speedrun slide to any percent with the current uh, strats. Um, I'm gonna be playing on the Korean version. In this episode, we're gonna have uh, about EP1, and I'm gonna play from you enter the world to the, you leave the world. So, let's just get right into it. I'm gonna speed up this cutscene so you don't need to watch it. So now that you're done with the intro cutscenes, we're gonna do a quick uh, cutscene skip. Uh, if you were to do this in a run, you wanna not stop in the save files, you just wanna spam circle so you start as soon as you can. But how to do the skip, uh, you wanna pull out your controller charging cable at the top of the, the pipe. Uh, I'm gonna say when. If you don't have a charging cable for some reason, you want to hold down the PlayStation button until the reset menu comes up and then turn off your controller a little bit later than the pole. So, to start this, press circle and then pull out the controller charger cable now. So now the game will pause. If you use the other method than you using the cable, you want to turn on your controller. So head one down, X or circle, one up, X or circle. Now you want to spam X or circle to get into the game as quickly as possible. So right here, after this little montage thingy, you want to just keep spamming circle so you leave the safe as soon as you can. So then when you're done, you want to square boost over this tree here. Like so. Then you want to keep running down this alley towards the trigger. So right here, you want to just not think about this guard. Run over here and square boost into the mission trigger. After this mission trigger, I'm gonna show you three ways you can do the uh, how to get up onto the satellite. So now, the first one is you want to square boost on top of this car, or the trunk of this car, and then double jump up on the roof. So it looks something like this. There. So the second way is to glitch high jump from here and up to this one. So you want to just glitch high jump approximately there. This glitch high jump can be a little bit hard to get ledge grab less, uh, so the other two ways are recommended. So the third way is to glitch high jump from this curb and then up around to up here. Something like this. So now that you are on top of the roof, you want to run after you get it and glitch high jump to the top of this pole. Should look something like this. Now you want to double jump or single jump off and press circle. You can press circle on the other side of this and it will still activate. Like that. So when you're done with this, square boost off the roof. Then just continue doing square boosts uh, and make your way over to the next satellite. Now you want to run on the bottom here, double jump and press circle to initiate the second satellite. Now there's two ways you can do this, I'm going to show you both. And they are like this, and then square boost off here. Now just make your way to the third satellite. We're gonna do one more square boost, and that's right here. So now, when you come towards the satellite, spam circle. That will initiate this last satellite as fast as possible. So now this is the mission breaking and entering. Uh, in this mission we're gonna get used to a new skip called table clipping. It's initially where you clip under a table in the charging animation and it makes you get shot out of the table. I'm gonna explain it more in detail when we get to the mission trigger. 
Scrape us off this roof. Whack over whatever is in your way. And just head straight in. And then I'll meet you after it. Okay, so in this part, there are gonna be these rat guards uh, before. When, or after you fight them, um, or fought them, and they're dead, there will be a cutscene that spawns here, and it will automatically start wherever you are in the room. So, the once you step into this part, uh, af behind this gate, Murray will start charging at them, and taking them out, and right after he does that, the cutscene will start. So, uh, what you can do is, if you don't want to go for the table clip, for whatever reason, uh, you can try to help Murray take out the guards, Bear in mind though that if you attack a guard, Murray will most likely attack that guard as well. So you might just get a few hits in. Uh, if you see a guard on the ground, you can try to like um, take him down like with triangle and uh, square. Uh, if you're gonna do table clip, you want to take, you want to just run towards this table to attract the guards. Then you want to run down to this table to like collect them over here. And then head to that table. I'm gonna show you how to do this, by the way. So, um, so when you get to that table, as Murray is like hitting the last guard. So let's say he has two health, the guard. If Murray hits the, when Murray hits the first time, you do the table clip, because you want to do the table clip, um, or you want to be clipped when the guards are dead. So, because if you're in this part or behind this part, the cutscene will not start. It's like sort of in this room kind of thingy. So, when Murray hits the last guard, uh, you do the table clip. I'm gonna say when to do it, and then I'm gonna try to go for it just so you see like the timing. Uh, I might not get it, or I might clip it so it looks like I'm getting it. XD. So let's see. You first run here, get detected, take these coins, run down here, take these coins, and then you run here. Let's say Murray just takes them out. Now you see he's gonna come for this guard. This is not usually happening, but you might have to just get away. And now you wanna go for it. So if you didn't get it, you will get in the cutscene. So uh, I'm gonna show you two versions of this, and after this I'm gonna show you when I actually get it. So when you do, um, do hit the cutscene, there's no worries, you, you lost 20 seconds, and that's sad, but you know. Just bear, bear with it. In EP runs, you want to get this if you want to do, um, like, get good times and stuff. But also, if you play on the SD version, you can do it by this table right here. Um, it will help you clip better, like, in a better way through. Um, Sinks showed that this is the, a, a very nice way to do. Because in, in that version, you have less frame rate to go on. So you will just clip straight through this point and get on the other side. Um, if you do hit this cutscene, just jump over this like this and just carry on like you normally would. So the table clip. The way you do this is you stand near a table uh, or any crawl space uh, and then you, you do the charge animation here while holding square. And as soon as you start charging, you you tap or mash or, or hold um, circle so it's uh, square and then circle that's how you clip then you will fly here onto space or you could hit the laser or there's so many outcomes of this uh, watch Gnisten 6 video on his uh, explanation of table clip it's a little bit better than mine and he's way better at it so I recommend you guys checking it out even if you just want to watch my videos so um, if you want to have the table clip be, how can I say this, you want to more or less consistently be ending up in that room and not flying to space, you wanna hit X and then, or no, uh, then triangle and then X after, so you do this animation. Um, I'm gonna cover all these tricks and stuff in another video, bear in mind. Uh, so the thing you wanna be here, as said on screen, you wanna do square. And right after square, you know, press circle. Then you wanna do triangle X. So square, circle, triangle X. So it, it, when you get out of this, you have motion to do this. 
you obviously cannot do it like here, but... And if you get it correctly, it should look something like this. So now you wanna... Mind that there's a trigger here for Bentley's dialogue. Uh, when you have, like, hit this, you can run over here. If Bentley starts talking, then you have gotten it. The black bar with text on top doesn't do anything. You need to listen if you, if you can hear Bentley talk. Then you want to go under this table. You want to square boost up here. Stand next to this and do a table clip. But only square and circle. So, square circle. And hold. And then you will clip straight through the lasers here. If you struggle a lot with this for some reason, crawl under the table. It's probably faster. Then you wanna run and scrub over this table to get here. So now, we can crawl under the tables here, or you can jump on the edge of this table and then double jump towards this like office kind of space here. So it's like this, you sort of jump on the table and then double jump in. It's very simple, you can do it in running speed, you can do it whatever you want. Just try to practice it, if you struggle with it, jump on the table, stop, and then don't move forward until you jump. And then go forward and right. And you should be here. Now, I'm gonna clip here because there are cycles to be hit here. So, I'm clipping right here. So now, when you come over here, the first cycle is this one where he's turning back to you. You wanna just whack down and then do an extended glitch high jump to get over him. The other way is that he's so much turned that you can square boost him. Remember to only square boost one time and get to this before he reacts or he wakes up. Now the other room here is quite simple. You just run, use triangle attack two times to hit him into the, uh, the lasers. Now you wanna get over this part. Uh, I'm gonna wait until the guard is done with this round. So you wanna make it under this, something like that. Then you want to do the same thing to that to the guard over here, like so. Just keep hitting him until you hit this part. In this part, don't think about the rats. You can either table clip this just by holding square and circle, or you can crawl into it. Bear in mind, using square and circle may uh, make you not hit the trigger, so the safest way is to just crawl under. It's not that much faster. So for the picture part here, you want to run up to this middle window here and you want to zoom in approximately how much I've done right here. Something like this. Now, you can listen to the dialogue that when Bentley is done talking, the, the picture will be taken. So then you just take the picture. Then you want to hold right on your left stick and forward on the right stick. So it goes something like that. You can perfect it if you want. Hold both up if you're using inverted and take the last picture. That's how I do it because I have inverted settings. If you want to do it, you can do it your way as well. You just have to figure out how it is you do it. So just take the pictures, that's the easiest part. So now, uh, after we split for this job, it's gonna be a cutscene. If you wanna perfect it, you can learn your own way when to start holding the PlayStation button. Personally, I start to hold the PlayStation button when I see Sly signature and logo is posted in the book. Then the menu will open after the game has saved. Uh, Remo and Nis perfects this where it opens like as soon as you can. Uh, either way, you just want to open this menu when it's done with saving. You want to hit X on quit game and then on yes. So now, uh, the game will reset. And what you will see is the PlayStation menu. You want to just, as this game is going out of, like, into the PlayStation menu, just spam X. So immediately as it comes, it will press X on the game. This is called a reset. We reset the game to skip certain cutscenes. Uh, I will tell you every time you want to reset the game. Um, so don't you worry about that. Uh, from now on, I will not show the reset itself. I will just like like 
fast forward over it because it's kind of like it's like 30 seconds so there's no need for me to do it um though i have a little issue here with recording and stuff but don't worry so for bug dimitri select sly turn the camera around like this and jump over keep the camera turned while you run towards the trigger this is called gsm or guard spawn manipulation it's a technique we use in this run to uh, manipulate where the guards spawn to our advantage so right now there would be a guard here normally but i despawned him or did not spawn him rather um, by doing that uh, it's gonna be a little bit harder after a while but you'll figure it out it's no need just learn the route and then turn the camera around that simple now you want to run down here and run in a straight line towards this uh, like edge on the building with the near car a guard will always spawn on the left if you do that scrubbers on this car double jump off then you see this chair you want to jump on top of this chair like this and stand glitch high jump up to this part this little like balcony-esque thingy overpass and go into the um disco i guess yeah something like that so now there's a cutscene right here you want to square boost into this cutscene like so so after this cutscene, you want to screw this down off this balcony, like so. You want to jump on top of this little ledge here and glitch high jump yourself up to here. You might need to round off your glitch high jump like so to get it, to go a little bit out towards the waterfall and then go back up. Uh, so when you come right here, you want to smash this thing. Do not glitch, uh, like... Uh, table clip this because then it will actually fail you and you will land inside of this wall and not get out so just crawl through this like normally and then you want to when you fall down you want to hold towards the image here run and press circle to switch so when you're done with this little section where they do this part you wanna press start, go two down, and then spam circle or X to load. So now it's follow Dimitri. So now it's time for follow Dimitri. Select Sly and GSM and run down this way. When you come here, you wanna square boost in, M mash square uh, because he might not have the square boost for long enough to hit the trigger, and you will just open the binocular. So now run straight towards the bell and square boost into it. Or just run and hit it. You can choose yourself. Square boosting would be the fastest way. So like this, square boost and hit. The trigger for this is quite large, so you just have to run like a few steps, like maybe two steps and that before you square boost. So the coin rod here is a little bit special. Uh, just check what I'm doing and repeat it after me, basically. Uh, you want the GSM this whole time. To evade guard spawns. So, don't take that bench. It's on this uh, point of the range where it's scary, a little bit scary. So just remember to keep GSMing like this. If that guard spawns, don't worry about him. Just keep GSMing, and it will be good for you anyway. Take these coins, some coins here. Then you want to run towards this bench, get that. Dimitri has now moved, so you can take this table. If there's nothing there, jump up. So take that one. You see there's nothing there now. So now he's right here. So you now essentially just want to jump on top of this. And then keep moving the normal way the runners do. It's a little bit hard. If you don't want to do this, you don't need to. But keep GSMing because his route will be changed by it. Uh, there might spawn guards in front of Dimitri and make him stuck, and that we don't want that. So now just look down at Dimitri. There will spawn a guard there. When Dimitri has turned, you can now square boost over the guard and pickpocket him, like so. And then upper, 
then uppercut him away from Dimitri. Take this table. Take this bench. Take this bench. And then that's it for the route. It's a little bit of a... Um, how can I say this? A little bit of a, a baguette to bite, you know? <laughs> so, um... <laughs> it will be... It will something you need to practice. Um, you don't need to do this. You can get trophies and stuff and loot guards. That's very slow, but it works. You need 1200 coins in the whole run. Uh, plus additionally 400 for turnbuckle route, which I'm gonna showcase in this uh, tutorial. So, I'm gonna show you the whole coin route. If you see that you're short in the end near AP7, you wanna pickpocket guards and stuff. But we'll come to that part way later. Don't worry. Do your best here. And after this is done, you wanna load the game here. To get back into the uh, safe house. So now it's time for water pump destruction. Select Murray, double jump over this tree here, run down this alley, the same alley as before, and then you wanna head up here and towards the trigger which is right down here. Don't think about the guards, don't loot anything, you don't need to. Just go straight in here. Now, you wanna head right, upright, towards the chair to hit the cutscene, so you're uh, close enough to the chair as possible. So we're gonna pick up the chairs here, uh, chairs and boxes, hit, toss it at the little alarm thingy, or the laser generator, then we wanna hit the next one, pass the guard, try to make him hit us towards the lasers, and then we wanna finish the mission. So just do what exactly what I do. Looks something like this. Now this will drop coins. I choose to pick it up because it's not that much slower. Hit it like just run into the laser and smash. So right here, you wanna jump up to this ledge like this. Jump here, run near the guard so he detects you. And you wanna try to get shot instead of getting hit to get up here. But however you do it, it doesn't matter. Whack into this, uh, or toss the guards into this, like, creator. It's a very, very simple job, and I'm over-complicating this. So, basically, just follow my movement. Once you see it, it flip like this, hit it. So, the it will be the sixth guard you can kill. You don't need to do it, for safety. But after four guards, it starts bopping. And then the fifth guard will destroy it. So the sixth guard you can kill to get money. Now reset the game. Sorry for uh, if I were a little bit quick there. Uh, I'm gonna try to be a little bit better next time. So now it silenced the alarms. Pick Murray and then double jump over the tree like before. You're gonna run down the same alley, but not. Don't take left. Just go straight towards this car over here, single jump on top of the car and single jump off. Now you want to just run into the cutscene right here. You can press circle as you hit the cutscene to save time picking up something. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, so, or it's a little bit, it's very like precise, so you choose if you want to do it or not. I personally try it almost every time, but uh, you know. After the cutscene is over, you want to destroy that alarm and then jump over the rack. So here, take a chair, and you take a table, one of the plants, jump to collect the money, run down here. Single jump while going off, and then double jump up. Now aim your camera towards the doors here. This will spawn uh, suitcases on the other past. So as long as you keep your camera pointed on the door, until you jump, then you're good to go. So now, you wanna just uh, destroy this last one. It can be a little bit tricky, as you see, because guards can fuck you over. Uh, usually, you can get three suitcases or two suitcases and a nice guard. If you lose the guards, you need to be very careful because then light guards will spawn. So now, that's the harder part. Uh, Doing it perfectly doesn't matter that much. Now, take the newspapers here and just destroy the last alarm. 
and that's the mission. Now you wanna load, and now it's gonna be Moonlight ra Rendezvous. Always wanna see Rendezvous. <laughs> so now you wanna select Sly, then while you stand here, glitch high jump over with an extended one to get on top of this one, to get on top of the roof as quickly as possible. Now you wanna just run towards the mission trigger over here, square boost this, and then don't square boost this. Just hit it, like normal. Now, in this job we're gonna, like, try to collect some money, or some coins. So, just basically try to follow my route. There's no, uh, like, right or wrong here. It's just how much money you wanna collect. Some take more, some take less. It depends on the route and it depends on how good you are. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I do this. Just take out these two. And then you wanna go down here. Take this one. And keep in range of Nila. Nila likes to stop if you're out of her range. And if you're too close to her, she likes to turn around and look at you like, what the fuck are you doing? So now, just go here. Go down. Close to here. Take this table. She will jump down. If she doesn't, she stop on the roof and you might be uh, fucked up here. So, go here. I go a little bit to the left here to keep her away. Then I take this. Then you can jump up here and fall down. Then, when she drops down here, you need to be more careful. Because you can hit Nila. Just jump up. Just try to get as much coins as you can. If you can't get any coins, it's no worries. But it's good. It's a good time to farm coins. You just want to stand over here now. This is it, well in her range. When she's about there, go here. Take this once and jump down so you're in her range. When she comes here, be very careful and just take the ones that she doesn't take. And then... It's a very like, do this, then do that, do this, and then do that job. So you get the feel of what you can take and what you can't take. Just be here about when she's done. It's a very generous range, so you don't have to worry about being a little bit too far off or a little bit too far in. So, this is what is an auto-scroller. You can't do anything to make it faster. Uh, you can do anything to make it slower though. So be careful to just stay in range and... Don't go too close or too far away. So now it's tier 3 pickpocketing. You'll just turn around and head toward this fence here. They try jump over it. Whack this guard. You want to make it towards this car. Double jump over, double jump and hit triangle. The double jump triangle will hit the trigger from under the balcony there. So here, you can either get lucky or not to get into the cousin immediately. If you don't, just walk a little bit forward. So, in this job, there's a lot of movement, so I'm gonna pause to explain what I'm gonna do. Which I'm probably gonna do in the future episodes, because I feel like the last ones were a little bit um, too fast, if you feel me. Because there are some time between I record this. So now, when the cutting is over, uh, we're going to take the first guard here. So. Right there, there's a table, the first table and chair in front of us, you want to whack it, jump to the left and around the guard, and then loot him. So like this, jump up here, and then jump around, and loot him. After this, you want to whack the guard and square boost off. Careful so you don't hit, the, hit his light. Now, there are this technique in the game, where if you, sp I should have said this earlier, if you spam R1, um, like around certain places, you will have a faster speed than walking, but you will not be, uh, you make sound so the guards will notice you. You can see that this used uh, a lot of places if you want to sneak up on guards, loot guards, etc, etc. Now just loot this guard, and it looks something like this, where Sly is basically just doing like a, like a uh, uh, movement kind of thingy. So now you're gonna run here, careful with this light, and then jump up here. Now loot him, 
remember to be in range or you will have a very fun time rooting nothing but air. Run into the tent here, go up here, run and double jump. If you hit this, you can then either just jump towards here and then jump up or if you practice this a little bit, you will kick okay, camera please. Uh, you will be able to just stand, then glitch high jump back and up. And if you want to make it over to this side of this little metal bar and loot the guard. So when you're done with this, I'm going to clip now if the... So when you jump down here, you want to check where the guards are. If they are like this, just wait for this guard and pick the bottom one first. So there are a backup strat we can do here. Now this is a little bit tricky. You can either go to the left and do it, or you can go up here. And just glitch high jump on top of this, square boost over, and pickpocket him. It is a little bit harder, so just run up the ramp like usual if you have struggles with this. You have to kind of see this yourself. So now in the end here, you want to just run towards this part, square boost there, double jump here, and now you want to run and extend the glitch high jump up to this, like, fan blade here. This is a little bit tricky, so just jumping on this one like so can almost be faster if you struggle with it, but I'm gonna show you how you do it anyway. So you want to stand here, run and glitch high jump till you ledge grab, go up, run over it like this, glitch high jump up, run, press circle. That's the movement you want to do right there. So now, after this mission f ends, you want to load the game to get back to the safe house. Now we're going to do Disco Demolition with Bentley. So now we're gonna do the di Disco Demolition, select Bentley, double jump over this tree, and just do the normal route uh, down to a mission trigger. So you wanna single jump on top of the car and single jump off. Looks something like this. And when you come to this edge here, double jump and spam triangle, so you drop two bombs. That's, and then double jump here and up. And that's the fastest way you can do that spark. Uh, now there's going to be a little bit of a messy tricky part here, so I'm gonna quickly explain it by pausing and stuff. So here, there's first a laser fence, a guard and a laser fence. Uh, and then on the behind the second laser fence, there's a cutscene. So what you wanna do, you wanna jump to the right and place a bomb near the, the laser fence, go back left, shoot the guard, or as soon as the bomb explodes and take away the laser fence, you want to shoot the guard uh, with a sleeping dart, run towards the guard, jump and place a bomb on the laser fence, then run into the laser fence, or as you place the bomb, you take damage. When the bomb explodes, you run straight into the, the mission cutscene. It sounds a little bit tricky, but I'm going to show you how you do it. <laughs> Now and then jump right and place a bomb, run straight into it. It looks kind of fun and it's very easy to do. You just need to like have a little bit of knowledge of movement and stuff, but it's no big deal. I want to jump down right or left, I mean, and place a bomb while double jumping in midair. So it should look something like this. And now you want to run towards this path here. Now you want to take time and shoot the guard as fast as you can. So something like this. And then place a bomb on this pillar. And jump to this bridge. I'm very bad at this job, bear in mind. So now shoot this guard. You want to run up here and place a bomb. Run down here and shoot the guard. This will have, you will need to have some quick scoping skills to perform this. And if you haven't taken the whole full life, you can now hit the bomb. So, you don't, you, you cannot die when you do this, by the way. And that's how you do this job. It's very simple, it's very 
straightforward and there's nothing large or big to it. So now you wanna reset the game after the game autosaves and I'm gonna skip through it until we come to the mission next time. So now after you have reset the game, you wanna select Bentley and run down the ramp here and just straight into the mission trigger. This is the operation and is the, the heist of or the final of the episode. So you wanna run towards this water house or pump house and run in between these two and shoot one of the guards. Like, like so. Now you wanna bomb that guard and stay out of the range. Like so. When you see Murray go towards helping you, jump up here, go down into this, place a bomb right there, like on the outside so you are towards the inside, and hit the bomb. This will make you skip the whole jump, tossing you up there and bombing two times and blah 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 blah, same shit. Now when you come in here, you wanna go right to this one, another time, right to this one, take the middle one, bottom left. Or towards us and then the far left very hard for me to explain this one on Norwegian by the way Fair, bear in mind so now for slice parts it's very simple it's a little bit technical but it's simple you want to square boost off the roof hit the bench square boost two times to the left slash forward and then go toward and then sneak towards the guard should look something like this So whack the bench, screw boost away, screw boost away again, and then sneak up towards the guard. Optionally, you can square boost towards the guard. I prefer to do, not to do it because I can hit the guard because I'm me. So now square boost in towards this part. Hold like top left to run as Bentley, and then when you come to this part, you just wanna jump on top of this, jump up here, and when you jump down here, you wanna place two bombs. And now that we're here, uh, we're gonna do the cock strat. This is very fast paced by the way, I'm sorry about that, but I'm gonna be a little bit slow here. For the cock strat, which is a little bit harder of a strat, you wanna glitch hard jump on top of this thing. Then glitch hard jump another time to this. Try to be on like the, the like far side on the right of this. Then you wanna aim towards this little ledge here thingy. You can see it very clearly there, the bend. Uh, upright to the right of the F and theater, Le theater. So glitch hard jump towards that, you don't need to press circle, you can, but remember to press circle as late as possible. And if you get it, Sly will do something like this. He will jump straight up to here. If you miss it, you won't fail anything, it's just that he won't skip the climbing part. So it takes a little bit longer time. So for this one, you wanna aim so that it's Sly is approximately between the top part of the hook and the down part of the hook and just toss it. And Sly will catch it every time. Now you wanna go down and take some of some coins here, but then prepare to defend for guards. And try to not damage the truck too much. You know. Uh, and try not to take too much damage yourself. Just bear in mind that this is the damage you wanna do the fight with. So and there's attack combination here. Which is whack, run after them and hit the triangle. So it looks like this. And it, it, it's something you need to practice. You can hit them just like straight normally. But this is something you have to think about when you do this. And that's when you do it. I'm very bad at the fight. I'm sorry that it's me that has to show you this. Um, but it, you, you, you just have to practice it and then you will learn it. Uh, and it's no big deal. So I'm gonna skip forward here so you don't need to watch the cutscene. And I'll see you in a bit. So now after the cutscene... The way to fight Dimitri is to uh, do not holding R1 when you fight because then you will start like like almost like launching a little bit in every place because you have to jump and do all of those search. So don't hold R1. You want to hit him and then be careful that 
his attack range when he gets up again. It's really, really big and long. So just take in mind to be a little bit careful. And when you've killed him, he will spawn on the opposite side of the room. So just as soon as you hit him for the third time, go back to the middle of the room and see if he spawns there. So it should look something like this. Just run towards here. Hold left so you don't get hit the first time. Then you whack him. Careful with the range. And then you whack him again. And then when he does something like that, just be careful. He's gonna spawn here now. Okay. Okay. For some reason he spawned over here. It doesn't matter though. Just... You kinda do have to do this in your own pace, in your own style. I'm... I'm not that good, but I try, you know. So just evade when he attack, like, charges you. And stuff like that. There, and you wanna split as soon as you hit him for the last time here. Split. There, that is EP1. If you have a fast setup, you can reset when the cutscene is done here and it saves the game. Uh, if you play on just like a normal PS3 and then don't have SSD or Korean or anything, uh, or actually it's only about console, not Korean, sorry about that. If you if you don't have SSD and you don't have a slim or a, or a fat PS3, don't reset this cutscene, just watch it, it's not that long, it's just a tiny few seconds. So, for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna reset here, you would reset here if you want to uh, save a little bit seconds if you have a good setup, if not, don't worry about it. So I'm gonna go through this cutscene, and I'm gonna meet you guys real soon. So now that you're done with the reset, the reset if you did reset or not, you're gonna end up here. You wanna press circle on the Rashan head, or X if you are on a non-Korean version. And then we're gonna save this for the next episode so thank you guys for watching this was my ep1 um i hope i explained this better i'm gonna take it a little bit more slow the next time uh it's gonna be a little bit more lengthy but i felt like this was kind of a little bit too fast in some parts so i hope you guys enjoyed it please give me feedback for the love of god i need feedback on this project and um if you think i'm stupid Please type in the description and I'll see you the next time. Ogirino on Twitch, on YouTube, you know, because you are here. Speedrun.com slash Oggy and everything about the Slug community is in the description below. So, see you guys and have a good day.